Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and today we will see one of the interesting topic we have so far seen. Right, so uh, we we normally speak a lot about Page Factory. We we say Page Factory is always needs to be integrated with Page Object Model for it to be effective. Again, there are so many misconception and notions about Page Factory. I, and i personally uh, don't recommend using page factory even uh, simon who's the developer of selenium has uh, uh, told about it in so many places that uh, yeah, the page factory is something that he always want to improvise okay so it was not properly built okay now we will see what are all the things that people consider you know it, it was the advantage that's why we are using page factory and then i will try to give the explanation why why those notions are actually misconceptions they are not actually true okay so let's see all these things in this particular video okay uh, page factory yes or no yes first misconception or the notion that we have it reduces verbosity when i mean verbosity uh, people are telling you don't have to write driver dot find elements every time okay uh i don't understand how uh, you know writing a driver dot find element is hard okay i can simply create a reusable method uh, uh, like click or send keys and then i can wrap everything inside i can directly call click okay it doesn't mean uh, you know uh, i really don't understand how this reduces verbosity okay calling driver dot find element is not actually a tough task even if it is tough i will create a simple reusable page action method and i can wrap all the driver dot find element code inside that okay so so obviously this is again uh, not not a true okay true statement okay next let see they are telling it's faster than using find element okay okay now uh, let's go to the workspace and then i have done some research you know to 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 actually understand what's happening okay i i, I thought okay i'll find some article even i searched for selenium documentation but i couldn't find anything that's that satisfied uh, my quench so what i have done i have create you know created a runner class where i have a before method after method is having just uh, launching the browser and closing the browser i have created three classes the one class where i have just used page factory and there is another class where i have used page factory with catch a lookup again catch a lookup is annotation uh, what it will do when you find the element for the first time it will store it in the catch a so next time you are trying to operate on it it will it will uh, it will get the value from the catch a instead of actually finding it on the dom so that the interaction is much faster okay then i have another class where i have uh, used Uh, not used any page factory i have simply used a by locate you know by class uh, variables uh, to locate the element okay let's go to the class so first thing is i am launching the uh, you know google uh, in my test and then i am also doing uh, you know uh, initialization for the constructor here if you go to this page factory here i have just used again you can write it in one line or two line that doesn't matter okay if, if you notice i have a, i have not loaded Uh, google and then the the search box is having attribute of name is q uh, i have uh, created as a private web element using at find by annotation this is a page factory right so if you want to use page factory the first thing is you need to initialize using init element methods okay this actually this is verbose right you are you are actually writing extra code which i normally don't do when i do a driver dot find element okay i don't know how verbosity comes in picture but still uh i'm also passing my driver reference so that i uh, you know i can use it here then i i created a very simple method what it do uh it it try to uh, you know uh, clear whatever the text that is present in the you know uh, the search box and then it will it will send the testing mini bytes okay but it will do this in a for loop for 10 times so it will actually find the element 10 times and then it will do send, send keys on this and then clear it okay i have recorded the start time with system dot current milliseconds and i at the end i am also after this uh, for loop ends what i am doing i am printing the end time minus start time so that i get actually how much time it to to uh, do this for loop i mean to find to operate on the element at least 20 times okay because we are doing clear and send keys so actually we are doing 20 times of operations on the on this particular web element again let me go to the page fact uh, page factory demo with uh, catch a lookup if you notice uh, this has an an additional annotation that is catch a lookup okay so what that's the first time it will try to find the element the next time uh, first time it will try to find the web element in the dom actual dom 
the second time it will not do that it it will it will directly fetch it from the cache okay so that uh, you know it, it it finds the element much faster again it has lot of disadvantages when you have lot of ajax calls uh, going through and out uh, from your uh, from your web so so it has some problems but for now uh, i am not going there just uh, understood that this cache lookup is about to increase uh, reduce the time it took to find the element so exactly the same set of operation we are doing here we are running a for loop for 10 seconds i am using the same locators i am using same browser okay trying to keep all the things that are uh, uh, very similar across the scenarios okay same thing uh, clearing the uh, and then again sending testing many bytes i am also recording this uh, the time how long it took to find and operate 20 times on this search box next uh then i have another class where i i recommend no fact page factory demo where i have a simple by by class locators with the same uh, uh you know this locator type or name and using uh, q as the value i'm trying to find this uh, uh, search box okay even here what i did start time i'm recording in the for loop okay uh i am i am you know finding the element only once and then i am using uh, element dot clear and then element dot send keys with the same set of operation nothing different but the one thing is there is no uh, init element here okay previously we used init elements actually we don't have to do that if you are not using page factory again there is less verbose right yeah so now i i will go to the runner class and i'll try to run each test so this test will run on just page factory this test will run on page factory with cache lookup and this test will run on uh, without page factory okay with your by locator again these are all the values uh, the time it took uh, in milliseconds for doing the operation okay so uh, if you notice uh, there are little variation because i cannot control the speed of data what it's been fed to my chrome right it's not in my control i do have a stable internet connection but i cannot guarantee i can say you know it will just use the same way so it can be a little mismatch but obviously uh, this is just for analysis right so first let me run this particular test just a page factory without cache lookup okay let me try to run the test Okay, this is just a simple analysis from my side. Again, if you guys have done some kind of analysis from your side, you can put it in the comment section. Okay, if you notice, it took one five seven three. Okay, I am recording that as well. Okay, next. Okay, I am commenting that, and then I am going here, and then I am running it again. Okay, it's again doing the same thing. Okay, actually it took extra time. Uh, maybe it, it's because of the internet speed, whatever it is. But it took actually the cache lookup took a little extra seconds. Okay, now let's you know try to run the last one. Again, guys, I cannot control the speed of the internet, right? So how fast the Google is loading, I cannot control it. So Google is a very simple website, but still. Uh, Yeah, if you notice, it took two three nine zero. Yeah, so if you notice, uh, first iteration when I ran it, I think the the one without the cache lookup or page factory is 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 faster, and then there is a varied. So actually, this is something two three one two three three four two three six nine seven. So so the results are you know not conclusive, and if you notice also the difference, okay. Difference is very less. Again, this is in milliseconds, right? So if you convert to seconds, it's two point three seconds. This is one point six seconds. So there is a difference of just seven hundred milliseconds, not even a second uh, difference between your cache lookup and your uh, no page factory. So if you are saving just seven hundred milliseconds, consider you are saving one second for finding ten elements. Imagine you are running a big regression suit spanning for three hours or four hours. Okay. Uh, it will just add up 5 minutes maybe this whole thing okay the the cache look up or the page factory can help you to save at least 5 to 10 minutes okay if you're running for 4 hours of regression test uh, you know uh, you are saving just 10 minutes but what the drawback of this particular page factory okay this is something that uh, you know we need to understand okay it can bring in lot of stale element reference exception guys okay again 
if you are using cache lookup or just page factory suppose that consider you have a website uh, google is a very simple website but if you imagine you have a angular website or react ui or your uh, material ui react js whatever these applications sends a lot of ajax calls right so what you will get the first time the web element try to find it and then uh, you know the next time the element gets removed because of the ajax calls again when you try to use it with the page factory okay those element will throw you stale element reference exception when a big when a element becomes stale you cannot use it when a food becomes stale you cannot eat it right so i am happy to avoid the stale element reference exception okay if there is some exception it will take at least 20 minutes for you to analyze imagine you are introducing flakiness just to save 10 minutes at least not even 10 minutes at least 10 minutes in 4 hours of time okay uh, if your test case is running for 4 hours uh, you you do lot of things like you increase the parallel execution prompt you you bring in thread local you run it in docker you run it in headless mode you can you can save the 10 minutes at any cost but don't try to introduce flakiness uh, because of uh, you know trying to use the page factory again if you have uh, any other thoughts from your side please do leave it in the comment section again if i don't initialize my page factory using init elements it will throw me null pointer exception guys this is very bad okay i am okay to have no such elements so that you know if there is my something problem with my locator strategy i can change it but null pointer is always difficult to handle and then you have to spend a lot of time in analyzing your test again it cannot you be used to produce a dynamic uh, elements okay i'll tell what it is okay but before that they also tell it's a lazy evaluation so what is lazy evaluation it will try to find the web element only when it is needed okay otherwise it will just initialize it, it will not use it okay this this is what the statement right but even even the driver that find element i will only use it when i actually need it otherwise i don't call that element i will not use driver that find element if i'm not going to use it i don't know how how this is different from your driver that find elements right so again these three notions are really you know not true are actually uh, does not bring you lot of value okay but there are a lot of problems with page factory uh, so i i always uh, avoid this using page factories okay again let's come to this cannot uh, use this dynamic elements okay now uh, let's let's take an example of amazon website okay this is an amazon website right So if you notice, I am going this inside that uh, hamburger menu bar, and then uh, I have some op options here. So, okay, so I I have uh, suppose I am using a page object model, and I want to create elements for uh, I want to treat this hamburger menu as a page. Okay, so in a page factory, if you are using page factory, you have to create three or uh, maybe nine, twelve. So whatever the element, suppose here there are twenty elements here, you need to create twenty different elements in your page factory. look at the amount of verbosity we have to add at least 20 into 2 40 lines of code okay but if i not using this page factory what i can do suppose consider i want to you know use this okay suppose i have to write an xpath okay what i can do i can easily write an xpath like this okay uh, it's a div tag okay div tag with the text value of equal to this okay but i i don't prefer clicking a div tag so what i can do i can click on e tag okay now this is same for all the elements even if i go and sort by department okay or i if i go for amazon prime music okay the only thing that is changing is this uh, i can just replace the text with amazon prime music okay if it it will still find the element right so just by changing the text i can dynamically find the element okay so how can i use it in my workspace so if you notice i have created a class here again so if you notice a uh, string menu item i have something like this okay this is the xpath that we have generated so far maybe i'll go copy the xpath mm. control a control c and if you notice this is the xpath that i copied from there okay the only thing that is changing across all the element is this okay i mean only the text apart from that the remaining portions remain the same so what i can do i can create a string variable something like this div text equal to instead of uh, hard coding it here okay if i hard code i have to create 20 elements what i am doing i created a wild card here 
percentage value percentage and then I, the same thing okay so what i i want to do if i want to call it from my you know main method or your test method you can just call click menu and then pass the string value amazon prime if you pass amazon prime music what it will do in the menu item it i am doing replace of i am replacing this particular substring this particular substring with whatever the value that i pass from my test method so that my x path is constructed dynamically at the run time okay so i don't have to create 20 new elements i just i can do the job with just one line and using uh, you know uh, a dynamic locator strategy this is not possible with your page factory so suppose if i go and try to use this in, uh, here okay suppose say i am using an x path of uh, something like this okay uh, i have a spelling mistake okay i have something like this now what i want to do i want to uh, make it dynamic okay so you can't make it dynamic so you cannot replace this you don't have a choice so even if i give some wild card here okay some wild cards here okay i cannot replace this okay i cannot do anything so this is just a search box okay i can only operate on the web element i cannot change the locator so this is the problem with that even if you try to add some uh, some value here okay suppose i have some mean j equal to 10 or simply i can tell string a equal to a b c d i want to add it okay i want to add this a here okay you cannot do that see it's showing some error the value of annotation attribute must be a constant expression it cannot be dynamic that's what it's telling it has to be a constant you cannot change it dynamically okay that is a problem with your uh, page factories right so notice i instead of creating 20 elements i can just create one particular string uh, variable and then handle the whole stuff again uh, how are we going to use it in fluent type uh, how if you pass uh, if you pass uh, amazon prime music I need to return Amazon Prime Music page. But they, those things come, so okay, we can use a lot of uh, other concepts to do that. But one thing, without Page Factory, I can do like this. This is actually not possible with your Page Factory. Okay, I hope uh, I, I, I made some sense explaining all these notions. Now it's up to you to decide whether you want to use Page Factory or not to use Page Factory. Okay, guys, my final recommendation if you are not using any angular applications your application does not have any ajax calls uh, you, you you know or react you are not using react or material ui um, then you may try to use page factory but still they are not uh, they they are still prone to stale element reference exception null pointer exception a lot of verbosity you cannot use it to produce dynamic elements Okay, so so consider these things before choosing Page Factory. Again, the amount of advantage that you are getting because of catchy lookup is very 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 small. Please don't try to compromise for the flakiness of your test. That's all I have to say for today. If you like my channel, please do subscribe, guys. Please share it with your friends. The kind of messages and comments what you leave in the comment section really motivates me. Okay, thank you, guys. Have a good day.